My kind of worldview is that for complex diseases like neurodegeneration, this traditional drug model may never actually find a solution. Nearly all the big pharma companies in many ways have given up research and development in the neurodegenerative disease space. Take a drug through clinical trials on our own without, without support from, from a bigger institution. How did you end up uh, in artificial intelligence? Neurodegenerative diseases have played a, a significant role in my life. My father had Parkinson's disease uh, and an aunt-like figure in my life had ALS, uh, a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. Um, and so as I learned more about these different kinds of neurodegenerative diseases, I came to realize that uh, my background in computer science and molecular biology and artificial intelligence equipped me with uh, a really rich tool set to enter this problem space and potentially make uh, a really big impact. Um, and so that brings us to today. Uh, I'm the head of computational biology at Verge Genomics. I think at this stage, uh, it would be really interesting to get a, an overview of what uh, Verge Genomics does and uh, how it is making an impact in the world. Uh, Verge Genomics is a venture-backed drug discovery company located in South San Francisco, California. We develop new drugs for neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS and Parkinson's disease. Uh, we combine artificial intelligence and machine learning with other recent advances in molecular and cell biology to create what I would call a full-stack drug discovery company. Why do you believe the established pharmaceutical companies are not yet coming up with the right solutions, even though they've spent a lot of money? I think it's a combination of both. It's both uh, a scientific model that is a little bit outdated, and then um, a status quo that's in place with a lot of process and money behind it. So changing that status quo is challenging. The traditional drug discovery process, uh, as we know it today, is really founded on scientific paradigms that emerged in the 70s and early 80s. And in this process, you screen millions of compounds and really simple model systems. Like you could just be looking at how a single protein interacts. And then the readout of that protein is some proxy for how the drug might work in humans. Uh, this approach has been effective for many therapies, for many drugs that you and I and anybody watching this video might be taking, but it's, it's also problematic when we go into complex diseases like neurodegeneration. And so those, those problems being that uh, these simple model systems are, are readouts that may not really be disease related, so their translatability to clinical trials could be low. And uh, I think consequently, because there's low translatability, traditional pharma companies then spend a lot of years and a lot of money iterating on failed trials until they find something that, that can be successful. My kind of worldview is that for complex diseases like neurodegeneration, this traditional drug model may never actually find a solution. And that's why I'm really excited to be with for genomics because we're trying something new and we're using new approaches. That's interesting. I want just to uh, uh, ask you this. If you were to summarize what the traditional drug discovery companies are doing, would you summarize it? They, they're trying to throw the dices on a problem that has too many combinations and they never find the right combination throwing the dices this way. They need some kind of more intelligent process to find the solution. I think that's a, that's a way to put it. It's, it there is certainly a a search component to this problem. And so kind of to summarize what I'm hearing you say, it's about, uh, about just efficiently searching through solution space. And I think the current approach is, uh, is in some ways restricted in how rapidly, how quickly and how accurately they can, they can iterate through solution space. So if you focus on, on, on let's say, the, the, the top funnel of the problem, which is what the medicine has to do, how eventually this type of company uh, monetizes? Verge Genomics' goal is to take a drug to a clinic, hopefully in the next 18 months. And how, how we monetize this, especially in the neurodegenerative space, well, maybe it'd be useful just to rewind for a minute. Nearly all the big pharma companies in many ways have given up research and development in the neurodegenerative disease space. Uh, so if you just look through the news over the past two years, there's been these several spectacular multi-billion dollar failures. Big pharma companies taking drugs to clinic, these drugs failing due to efficacy, 
And as I mentioned earlier, this is largely due to these drugs hitting gene targets that I don't think are, are really the best target for the, for the disease. So as we speak, there are really no drugs on market that can cure neurodegenerative diseases, and there are only a few drugs that can slow the progression of some of these diseases. So Verge Genomics, our, our model, is to develop a novel chemistry that is using our in-house labs. We've de-risked in terms of its, its toxicity and its efficacy. And then we can partner with a, a larger big pharma to take that chemistry into phase one, two, three human clinical trials. At least that's our model now as we're a startup. I think a dream for our company in the next uh, few years would be to do another round of fundraising and then ultimately take a drug through clinical trials on our own without, without support from, from a bigger institution.